Hi guys, I'm Mr. Byrne, part of the class of new science department I've recently joined. Uh, and I'm Mr. Jones, this is our resident gorilla. Uh, Mr. Me and Mr. Byrne are going to take you on a little tour around the science department today. So we're in our forum at the moment, uh, where we come out to teach some of our lessons, some science. We've got a lot of posters around the walls. Uh, we're going to take you through, introduce some other members of staff within the science department, and show you some practicals of the night have going on. Uh, let's go. Hello, I'm uh, Mr. Bakley, Director of Learning for Science. Now, hopefully, when you come to class with you, you get to do a few experiments. Uh, this is one of our favourite chemistry experiments. I'm starting off, green stuff in a test tube. This is malachite or copper carbonate. Now, the idea here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it strongly in a Bunsen flame, okay? And I'm going to drive off all of the carbon dioxide and leave just pure copper oxide. Now, what you'll notice is it straight away begins to go slightly black and then it starts to dance around in the boiling tube where the particles got loads and loads of kinetic energy. All right? Now, if I carry on doing that and carry on doing it, I've got a small um, cotton wool bung in the end and that means that I can get the carbon dioxide out of that boiling tube, no trouble whatsoever. All right? So hopefully, looking at that now, there's very little bluey green stuff left. So it should have all oxidised to copper oxide. Now what I've got next to it is a pot of hot acid, sulfuric acid. Copper oxide is a base, so it will react wonderfully with an acid. And what we should get is the formation of a nice blue copper sulfate salt. Okay, so let's just give this a go. Remove the bung. Add it there. And give it a stir. And as you can see, the blue colour starts to develop. And before long, you've got a nice fizzing potion. And if I was to evaporate that, I'd be left with pure blue crystals. So um, enjoy the rest of your tour of the science department. And uh, I'll see you when you get here in September. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. Let's see who else we can find. So if we wander up our corridor here, we've got lots of lovely posters along the sides here. Lots of fantastic labs either side. Uh, technicians with all of our equipment for all of our practical lessons. So let's have a look and see what's going on in here. Hi there, I'm Miss Atkins, this is Miss Jenkins. We're biology teachers here at Castle View School. And so the kinds of things we like to do in biology is we like to do dissections. So this is a heart that I've opened up to show the left ventricle um, and you can see the heart valve inside. Brilliant. Look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. Uh, just next door, we've got one more for you. Hi, my name is Mr. Cox, and what I'm doing here is what's known as a flame test. So, what I can do is if I put a little bit of metal, this one here is lithium, over the top of my fire, and it should, like this, change into a lovely red colour. Now, if I wash that off a little bit, I'm going to try some sodium, do the exact same thing. And we end up with a nice yellower, yellow colour. Especially at the top, you can see that there, hopefully. And lastly, I have some copper. This is my personal favourite. Let's get a little bit of copper on there. Put it on top of our fire. Maybe I didn't put enough there, just in a little bit. Let's try that one more time. And you can see some hints of blue in amongst all of those flames. Look forward to seeing you next year. Okay, and that's the science department. See you next year. <laughs>